Hello and welcome back to Travel With Us For Life. This week, we take you with us to the Patagonia in Chile. In our last video, we talked about how amazing it was to visit the Patagonia and how much fun it was to spend seven days hiking and camping in the Torres del Paine National Park. To us, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. We had an amazing time. Make sure you check out last week's video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Hiking Torres del Paine was an amazing experience and we felt like it would be a really good idea to break it down day by day on what we saw and what we did versus the more general video that we released last week. We visited Torres del Paine in January 2022 and in order to get there we flew in from Santiago de Chile to Punta Arenas which is probably the closest airport that you can find in the Patagonia. From Punta Arenas, you have to take two buses, one for three hours to a smaller city called Puerto Natales, and then another one for two hours to the actual Torres del Paine National Park. Now the bus leaves you at Estación Central or Central Station, which is both the beginning and the end of the old trail, which is what we wanted to do. Once you get dropped off by the bus and you register with the park authorities, you're good to go. Time to start the hike. Perfect, so we made it to Torre del Paine. You can see the mountain right behind us. We just checked in with the rangers. Now we gotta get our bags and I guess start, start climbing. climbing. Yes. You're excited? Yeah. I'm excited too. Let's, Let's do, do this. Starting day one. Right now we're going to Saran. It's the first camping ground. It's 13 kilometers away. It's right now 9.30 in the morning. Our goal is to get there probably by 1 to 2 o'clock and start camping. We'll let you know how it goes. You ready? ready. As we discussed last week, there are many trails that you can actually do in Torres del Paine National Park. You have from day trips where you can actually just hike for five, six, seven hours and explore around, all the way to two or three weeks through the mountains. The reason why we chose the old trail is because it gives you a really good balance between the most famous W trail, which is very touristy and full of people, and the longer two, three week trails where you actually camp and trail through the mountains. The old trail is supposed to take six to 11 days. We were actually able to complete it just in seven. The old trail is 126 kilometers long and there are 10 different camping sites along the way where you can spend the night. Hikers are only allowed to camp within the camping sites and you have to book way in advance if you want to go because space is very limited, especially in the more remote sites. We planned and booked a trip two months prior going to Torres del Paine and even then two of the camping sites were already sold out. This was actually really cool. We actually got to see condors flying around the mountain. Condors are the biggest, largest bird in the world and are at risk of going extinct. So I guess we're really lucky that we got to see them. They seem to be having a lot of fun in the snow. We, on the other hand, weren't. For the last two hours, it alternated between freezing rain and snow. It was really cold. Each camping site is a little different, but generally speaking, they all have a big open space where you can set up your tent. Then you have the bathrooms and the showers and an enclosed area designated for cooking. Some of the camping sites also had a reception type building where you could buy snacks and hot drinks, but these were super expensive. For example, you could get a cup of tea for $8. Crazy, I know. Our first day is over. We just camped, had some food, had some showers. Now it's ready to go to sleep. I know it's, it's pretty bright out, it looks like. It's the middle of the day, but it's actually 8 o'clock over here. It just stays light all day. It's pretty cool. That's the tent I'm going in. Day one complete. Yes, first day over. Right now, as you can see, we're inside the tent. It's pouring outside. <laughs> it's been raining for a few hours. It's been a very interesting day. So we had a 15 kilometer walk to our first stop, which is Saron, campsite Saron. 
Uh, it took us about four hours, four to five hours to complete it. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, the weather was crazy. <laughs> it was, at times it was warm that we had to take our jackets off. Then other times it was snowing, snowing and raining <laughs> and then back to warm and sweating and then back to snowing. All of that within 20 minutes of walking, which is very, very interesting. <laughs> But we got rained on heavily for the last hour of the hike. So we got soaked. Luckily for us, we had covers for our backpacks, so nothing got wet. And we were able to prepare some food, have a hot shower. They have showers, yeah, which is great. With uh, hot water. With hot water. <laughs> They're not very clean, but you know, the, the showers. And now we're inside a tent. It's about 7.30, about to be eight o'clock. And bright. Yeah, as you can see, it's super bright outside. It doesn't get dark until probably midnight uh, at this altitude. But we're gonna try to get some rest because tomorrow we have a long day. We have 23 kilometers. It's the second longest day. We're going from Ceron to, Los, uh, to Dixon. That's what we're doing tomorrow. 23 kilometers, should be fun. Starting day two? Starting day two right now, yes. Yesterday was interesting we got rained on it's pretty cold this morning we woke up to look at that view behind us so pretty amazing that's what we woke up to incredible now we've got 20k which is about 16 miles ahead of us to get to dixon which is the next stop very excited about it especially because we're not starting to go up so it's gonna get a little colder yes <laughs> But we're gonna get snow and ice and all that. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Before coming to Torres del Paine, we had done a good amount of hiking all around the United States and South America. And in my experience, you gotta be very careful when you're hiking, otherwise you end up getting lost. So as you can imagine, coming in, we were a little concerned, especially knowing that we were gonna be spending several hours at a time completely by ourselves in the middle of the mountain. But as it turned out, we didn't have to worry at all. The trails are extremely well marked, either by poles and signs all along the way, or the trail actually being very wide and worn. Our second day started very early. We left Saron at 8 a.m. on our way to Dixon campsite. The first part of the day was fairly flat. We first walked towards Piney River and then followed alongside it until we reached Piney Lake. The second half of the day was a lot hotter. There were a number of very steep climbs that eventually take you to Lake Dixon, next to which you'll find a campsite. We're halfway through day two. <laughs> we're literally going up a mountain right now. We've had to take several layers off because it's still pretty cold, but we're sweating like crazy. Look at that view. That's where we're climbing right now. We made it. You can see the campsite right behind us. Wow. We're exhausted. Yes. After setting up the tent, we rested a few minutes and had some hot tea. And then with our energies a little bit replenished, we decided to go around and explore the lake which is about a 20 minute walk from the campsite. All right, let's see. How cold is that? Very cold. Is it just as cold as the lagoon? Arriving at Lake Dixon for the first time is impressive. As you come in, you're confronted head on with a giant glacier, which seems to be literally melting slowly off into the lake. It's very, very cool. This was a first for us because we, we had never seen a glacier before. So we spent a couple of hours walking around the lake and taking some really cool pictures. On the way back to the camp, we actually saw some wild horses. There was about four to five of them grazing in the distance. I didn't know you could get horses this high up. It was very interesting. Day two. Complete. Complete. Completado. Mission accomplished. <laughs> it was a tough day. We had to walk 20 kilometers today, about 12 miles, 13 miles. 
It was not a joke towards no. the end. We very, were very, very tired. Very tired. We got here to Dixon, the second stop on the old trail. We got here around 3.30 in the afternoon. We showered, cooked, and we had a few hours to spare. So we went walking <laughs> around and got some really cool pictures of the glacier, which was amazing. Some and wild we, horses. Yeah, we saw wild horses yeah. in the mountain <laughs> in the Patagonia. Crazy. Um, but right now it's about it's close to nine o'clock. We're gonna get some rest because we have a long day tomorrow. This is. What's up, guys? Day three. Yes, day three starting right now. We just left the Los Perros camping site. Dixon. Dixon. Yes, <laughs> that's right. We left Dixon camping site and we're going to Los Perros. That's where we're going. <laughs> Today is an easy day. It's only seven miles, so piece of cake <laughs> compared to the last two days. However, um, the first three miles is supposed to be a big climb. So that's not bad because we have a lot of energy now. So we can easily take that. Day three started with a steep climb for about three hours going south through the forest, emerging on and off to stunning views of the mountains and the glacier in the distance. Just like the previous day, when we started climbing, it was really, really cold, or we were really, really cold. And as we got higher and higher, the exercise got us warmer and we had to take some of the layers off. But I would say the temperature stayed consistent throughout the day around 45 degrees. We're halfway through our third day. Right now we're walking through a forest, which is really cool. I did not expect to find a forest all the way up in the mountains, but it's a very thick forest full of really big, tall trees. Really cool. Say hi. What's up? How are you feeling back there? Yes. Now that we're on flat ground, I'm good. There were a lot of really cool streams along the way. Some of them, when you crossed them, the bridges were pretty cool. Some of them, not so safe. Almost done with the walk. We have maybe one kilometer to go. But if you see behind us, it's really cool. You can see a huge, huge glacier in between two crazy looking mountains. All right, so right now we're basically cutting in between the two mountains. Hopefully we'll get to see a clearer view of the glacier. But from here, it looks pretty cool. As it were, the trail to the campsite took us right by the glacier, the Los Perros Glacier. And even though we saw a glacier or had seen a glacier the day prior, being so close, almost so you could touch it, it was really cool. Breathtaking. Finally, we got to the campsite and we got started with setting up the tent. On average, it would take us about 15 to 20 minutes every day to set up the tent and get everything unpacked and organized. Okay, so everything is organized now. Got our food, our sleeping bags, our clothes. We are all set. All set. After unpacking, we were off to the kitchen to cook some dinner. The kitchen area was packed on every campsite. More than anything, this is the only place where you could charge your phones and camera, but also the only place where you could actually get out of the cold and warm up. Today, we made pesto spaghetti with chorizo. How is it? Yeah? Right now, we are getting ready to... Go to sleep. Go to sleep, yes. <laughs> it's the end of day three. 
have a long day tomorrow. We have a huge day tomorrow, so we have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's 23 kilometers tomorrow, yep. which is about 15, 16 miles. And we have a huge climb. That's six hours of climbing up the mountain. We're going to go by the glacier, which is really cool. Not complaining, <laughs> but it's 11 hours of hiking. That's the recommended time or whatnot. So we're going to get up at 4 in the morning. Hopefully be on our <laughs> way around 5, 5.30 and then get to the other side around 4 or 5 o'clock. So we're going to go to sleep. It's only about 5 o'clock, but we're, <laughs> we're exhausted. exhausted. <laughs> all right, well, we'll talk to you tomorrow. This is all for now. Next week, we'll continue with the trip the next four days. And remember, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe so you get more awesome videos like this one. See you next week.